So by now, you've probably already heard of the NAMI wallet and some of the exciting integrations that are already in place. Looking to see how you can get it installed and how you can get started? Let's figure out how together. Welcome back to Woodland Pools, your place for the latest Cardano news, tutorials, and the information you need to grow your investment with confidence. Today, let's take a look at how to install the NAMI wallet. Let's jump in. So there are a lot of wallet options out there and we have tutorials on Daedalus and Uroi and some of the others. So you might ask, well, why NAMI, right? So NAMI is kind of interesting in that the main difference is that NAMI can be injected into the browser context and connected to any website in order to interact with dApps. So if we think about something like Daedalus or Uroi, you can send and receive ADA, you can delegate to a stake pool, but you can't yet interact with anything like Sunday Swap or any of these other things that run their own page. You can't connect your wallet to that, similar to what you can do in the Ethereum ecosystem with something like MetaMask. NAMI is the first and most popular wallet to date that does this kind of work that interacts with a given website and lets you link your wallet. So keep in mind that for several reasons, which they actually detail here in the FAQ, NAMI doesn't necessarily play very well with Daedalus and Uroi if you're going back and forth between them. There is a clean way to do a migration, sort of a one-time migration from one to the other, and they walk through that here. But as they say, probably the best way to go about it is to just create a new wallet for NAMI, and that'll help you avoid any confusion and kind of just move forward that way. So for the sake of today's example, we're just gonna make a new wallet and we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and do that. By the way, if you wanna see the source code for the wallet, it's completely open sourced, and we'll link that down below as well. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is select your browser. NAMI only runs on Chrome-based browsers, so click the one that you're using. We're on Brave, so we'll go ahead and click on Brave. You're gonna to wanna to click on Add to Brave, and let's add the extension. Cool, so NAMI has been added to Brave, fantastic. So now let me go ahead and pin it so we always have it available. Great, so we've got our NAMI wallet here, and we're good to go. So let's go ahead and open up our NAMI wallet app, and it says, welcome, let's get started and create you a wallet. We're gonna go ahead and do a new wallet. And as we always say, the seed phrase that you're about to see is the only way that your keys are created. And additionally, anybody that sees this phrase can also make an exact duplicate of your wallet. So as always, make sure nobody is watching the screen and nobody can see this. So let's say I accept and hit continue. Okay, so you're gonna get a seed phrase just like this. Obviously, we just said don't let anyone see it and you're looking right at ours, but this is just a test one for this video and we're gonna delete it right after. But for yours, what you're gonna want to do is get multiple pieces of paper, two or three ideally, and write the seed phrase down two or three times on separate sheets of paper that you're gonna store in separate secure locations. That way, if you ever need to do a restore, you can do that. So take a moment here and pause us, write down your seed phrase, and we're gonna to have to confirm it here in a second. Okay, so when you've written down your seed phrase, click I have written down the seed phrase and click next. And now it's gonna ask you to confirm all 24 words of your seed phrase. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and enter your 24 word recovery phrase and we'll do the same and then we'll continue from there. Okay, when you've entered all 24 words, go ahead and hit next. All right, and so now we're gonna make a name for this wallet. So we're just gonna go ahead and call this demo wallet. So now go ahead and choose a strong spending password. This one needs to be at least eight characters long and you're gonna to need to enter this anytime that you wanna take an action from your wallet to the blockchain, such as delegating to a stake pool or sending ADA or anything like that. So go ahead and enter your password confirm it and then hit create. All right, cool, so we've got our NAMI demo wallet. So let's take a look around here and see what we've got. Um, we have no assets right now, but if we do, they'll show up here. We have no collectibles, and this is where we'd have our history of our transactions. Currently, from the NAMI wallet itself, for the delegating section for a stake pool, you can only delegate to Barry, which is kind of unfortunate. We'll do a separate video on how you can delegate to any pool using the NAMI wallet, but in terms of what's built in, the only one that you can do straight from the wallet is the Barry pool. If you want to send ADA, it's similar to with any other wallet, put your recipient, how much, and send it. And then here's the thing that we were talking about in the FAQ. If you want to receive ADA, NAMI wallet only utilizes one address. So you would go ahead and take this one single address for this wallet and you can receive ADA to this wallet. The one other thing I wanna point out though here is that this little icon up here, if you click on this, you can see your demo wallet. You can create new accounts, which are sort of like sub accounts that are tied to this wallet. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. To keep it simple, we're just gonna leave just the one. You can also connect a hardware wallet if you'd like. And then in settings here, if you're doing any kind of work on the test net, for example, as we were filming this, Sunday Swap just went live in the test net. You can come to settings, you can go to network, and you can switch from mainnet to test net for which network you want your wallet to interface with. So I click on test net here, I'll see a little icon on the bottom that tells me I'm on the test net. And so that's just how 
you would do a uh, testnet transactions using your NAMI wallet. Moving forward, as the landscape continues growing and more websites add integrations that wallets like NAMI can interface with, we'll make tutorials on how to work through those as well. In the meantime, congratulations on getting your NAMI wallet set up. You're all good to go. Leave us any questions you have down below, and if nothing else, we'll see you in the next video.